everybody welcome back to another video today i was out at target and i noticed they had restocked their hot corner boxes i don't always see these so when i do i pick them up they're 15 dollars a box more or less and inside there are four packs with two hits and one hobby pack and the good thing about them is a lot of these that i've opened have contained 2018 tops update or 2018 top series 2 those are pretty good packs obviously the 2018 tops update is just stocked with some of the best young players in the game their rookie cards so i'm hoping that those are in here we'll find out today sometimes you'll get a box that does have those in there and other times you'll get a newer box that i feel like they redid recently uh, with some 2019 packs in there so i don't know what we're gonna have here let's hope it's older stuff and let's get to open these up and see what we find these are made by the fairfield company i've opened up a few of these before on the channel you can see it on the front there you have looks like the angel stadium of angel angel stadium of anaheim sorry i think that's what it's called now stadiums change their names all the time i never know i've never actually been to that stadium i went to see the pirates out in la last year but they were at Dodger Stadium. Did not get a chance to see them um, at the Angels Home Park. So inside, sometimes there's fat packs in here. This one does not have a fat pack. So we will, I guess, move these off to the side. We'll save the hits for last. And look at that. The very first pack. That's what we're after. It's a 2018 Tops Update Pack. So I hope there's one of these in every pack. And I hope there is a fat pack of these in there, too. We'll see. We get a pack of Big League from 2018. We have a Prism from 2013, and that's our hobby pack. And then we have two hits, which we'll find out what those are, and we have Stadium Club from 2018. So this looks like it's an older box. All the packs are from 2018 or earlier. When I say older box, this product came out, I think it was March of 2019, and they were all filled with 2018 packs. And then I think they made up some more later in the summer, and they have 2019 packs, like Series 1 tops in there. So very good. That's what I want, some 2018 packs. So we got Reggie Jackson lead things off in our Stadium Club pack with Anthony Rizzo. And then there's Kutch, Andrew McCutcheon with the Giants. Frankie Lindor, who has been mentioned in trade rumors all winter long. But Terry Francona says they're not actively shopping him. He said that in an interview the other day. So it looks like Lindor will probably be back with the Indians at least to start the year. And if somebody blows their socks off, like if the... Dodgers want to give up Gavin Lux, then maybe something might come of that. But anyway, we have our big league pack with JT Real Muto on the front and Ken Giles, Mike Leak, Nick Williams rookie card. There's Ichiro and one of his final cards. Ichiro, of course, retired after the opening series last year over in Japan. Kevin Kiermeyer. There's McCovey Cove. That's another ballpark I need to get to. I've been to 21 of the ballparks. There's still nine missing, and McCovey Cove is one of them, along with the Angel Stadium. Then there's Jed Jerko. Ed, are, are you serious? We got an autograph in the big league pack. How about that? Brian Anderson Auto. Rookie Auto. Very nice. And then there's Jose Abreu. That's pretty much unexpected, uh, usually with big league packs. There's not even a guaranteed auto in every box. It's roughly one every one and a half to two boxes. So I would say probably more likely to be one every two boxes so that is a nice hit right there brian anderson autograph i'll put that in the good pile and it's going to be joined by some more hits here in a second um as you saw in the front of the box there's two hits that come within the box one's a relic and one's an auto at least i, I think that's how it is it's been a couple of months since i've opened up a, a, some of these boxes anyway here's our hobby pack there's jose altuve who's Name has been kind of dragged through the mud with um, some rumors of wearing buzzers. Those rumors have not been substantiated yet as apparently the uh, account that kind of, you know, drew it all into question, Carlos Beltran's niece, was a fake account. Jed Jerko rookie card, Aramis Ramirez, and Matt Harvey. But still, a lot of different people have said that about Jose Altuve, including Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer joined in on it and said that he heard the same thing about the Astros players and let's do the 2018 update pack and see if we can find Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card or Glaber Torres hey there's Glaber Torres right off the bat first card 
It's his all-star game rookie card. So Glaber's got three rookies in this release. He's got his base rookie, which is the best one. He's got rookie debut. And then he's got his all-star game rookie card. And that's what we get to lead things off. That's good. I'll take that one. There's a Rollis Chapman. And Brad Hand. Bryce Harper. You get one of those, I think, in almost every pack. I forget if it was Target or Walmart. I think it was one of those... Um, an exclusive for one of those stores. So we got Glaber Torres. I'll take that one. That's a, not too bad. Let's see what those two hits were. Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder game use merchandise. That is a nice hit right there. Prince Fielder, of course, had to retire because of some issues with his neck. His doctors told him that it would be unsafe for him to continue playing. So he had to walk away from the game a few years ago. But I always enjoyed watching Prince Fielder a lot. Just a ton. Especially in batting practice. He would put on an absolute show. Prince Fielder, of course, played with the Brewers for a long time. Also, the Texas Rangers, as you see there, and the Detroit Tigers. And our autograph is Bobby Brownlee. You probably don't know who Bobby Brownlee is because I don't. 2004, this card came out. I'll put it in the hit pile. That's like a dollar autograph. The Prince Fielder one was better, in my opinion. Game used jersey. We'll put that in the hit pile. I guess we'll also put Glaber Torres' rookie card out there. Those are the best ones so far. So a pretty good first box. Moving on to box number two. We've got five of these. I grabbed every box off of their shelf. All right, so box number two. Oh, this might be a newer one. I see some 2019 Heritage in there. I think we got a newer box. Nice! Another update pack. Okay. So another Topps update pack from 2018. That's what I would like to find in every single box. We also have a 2008 Bowman Chrome. So getting a little old there. I actually opened up a hobby box of one of these on the channel months ago. And we were guaranteed one autograph. And of course it was a redemption that expired a long time ago. Crappy 2019 opening day pack. And there's 2019 Topps Heritage. So nice uh, variation here. Give us three different packs and the Topps Update Pack. We'll start off with Heritage from 2019, featuring the 1970 um, design. We got Albert Almora Jr. on the front. Rick Porcello now of the Mets. And there's a rookie card of Kyle Tucker. Brian Anderson, we just pulled his autograph. And Harrison Bader, who will be the center fielder for the Cardinals, at least to start the year until he loses the job if he doesn't perform. Opening day, it's a dollar pack. We'll see what we get out of here. Maybe a Jeff McNeil rookie card. I don't know. And by the way, kind of uh, disappointed. Some of these corners are a little dinged. I noticed that in the last pack. Kyle Tucker rookie card, Zach Granke. So I'm hoping that the update corners aren't dinged, but I would guess that they are just because of the way the worker probably shoved these in the box. I guess we'll know if these corners are also have some issues. Ichiro leading things off. 2018 Bowman Chrome, Sean Figgins, Duke Welker, and Joe Mahoney. So Ichiro, the best card there of that pack. It's time now for Topps Update from 2018. Let's see if we can find Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, cards are in good shape, it looks like. No dings in this. George Springer, who... Um, settled with the Astros, he filed it, I think, $21.5 million. The Astros filed it $17.5 million, or actually it was $22.5 that he filed out. I think they settled around $21 million or so, so congratulations, Springer, on getting a nice big contract there. All right, we've got nothing crazy so far. There's Matt Chapman, 83 design, and we did get some rookies in there, Tyler O'Neill. Dustin Fowler, Daniel Mengden, but no big giant names. Let's check out our hits. First one is Tadahito Aguchi. You'll remember him if you're a fan of Japanese leagues or if you're a fan of the White Sox. I think, what's this from, 2009 maybe? 2008, it looks like. And we also have Bobby Witt. That's Bobby Witt, the father of Bobby Witt Jr., Prestige 2018. That's pretty cool. I always like getting older players that pitched in the uh, pitched or played in the era that I grew up in. And Bobby Witt was one of those guys that was around in the late 80s, early 90s. Have a lot of his junk wax cards. Pretty cool. So not too bad hit wise there. Not a ton of value to those, but still, at least it's a name that we know and not a Bobby Brownlee. All right, this next one. A little nervous about this one. I almost didn't buy it because it does have a. Um, ding core on the box. I'm hoping the cards inside aren't dinged up, but we'll find out in a second. 
pack or box number three of five. And let's pull them out. We get another Tops update. So three for three. Let's see what we got. We got the Tops update from 2018. We've got Big League again. We've got probably, yep, it's going to be Prism from 2013, if I can keep them on the screen. And we get a Chrome pack from 2018. So that's pretty awesome. Keep those there. Let's get to ripping these ones open. Try to center these a little bit better on the screen here. Did I bump the camera or something? I might have. I'll just move these over. It kind of is annoying that they're not centered, our background. All right, so Big League from 2018. I don't think Ronald Acuna Jr. is in this set, if I'm not mistaken. It would be cool to find another auto, though. It would actually be extremely shocking if we did. Reese Hoskins, rookie card, and Bryce Harper, Ministers of MASH, and Dylan Bundy. Oh, he signed some more. He got, I think he went to the Angels. Let's get our hobby pack out of the way of Prism. Let's see if we find anything in here. George Brett Bunting. Jason Mott, who... He was at the Cardinals Fan Fest, their winter fan fest, and I, I saw a picture on Twitter. He's got a gray beard now, a lot of gray in his beard. So he's aging a little bit. There's Yasiel Puig, of course, that's his rookie card. Jason Mott hasn't pitched in a while. It's been years since he's been in the big leagues. I never was really a big fan of him, though. He was always kind of a, I don't know, surly fellow at PNC Park. All right, let's do the Chrome. Four cards in this pack. Machado, Luis Gohara, Miggy Refractor, or Rainbow Parallel. Yeah, that's a refractor. And Gregory Polanco. And now let's do 2018 and see if we can find any of those good rookies. Jose Ramirez is on the back. Yanni Chirinos. Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt. And here is Legends in the Making, Chris Davis, who had a terrible year last year. And his teammate, Matt Chapman. There's the Franimil. The Franimil. The Franimil, I think they call him. This is his nickname. Franimil Reyes. And how about this? Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie debut. So we do get a nice rookie card. Obviously, his regular rookie would be um, more desirable, but this is still a nice one. Ronald Acuna Jr. These are worth about half of what the base card would be worth. So if the uh, base card goes for, I don't know, like 20 bucks, this might be a $10 card. Um, JT Real Muto and Jose Ramirez. So, obviously, this is going to go in the good pile. Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie debut. And let's check out the hits. Hyunjin Ryu, who led the major. Did he lead the majors in ERA last year? I'm going to have to check that out. I had, he always has a really nice earned run average. It's game used. He's now on the Blue Jays. And Billy Burns, who used to be a speedster. I, I do remember that, if I'm not mistaken. Billy Burns autograph his first Bowman card. And does it say anything about his uh, speed? Yep, 54 steals, tops in the league. Um, Billy Burns, very, very nice autograph there. We'll try to fit him on the screen, I guess, since it is technically a hit. All right, so moving along, let's get our next box open. Hope you're enjoying this hot corner box video. I like to do these um, videos every now and then for this product. It's a pretty nice product, especially when you're pulling pack after pack after pack of 2018 Tops Update. So we got 2018. We've got another Bowman 2008 Bowman Chrome, another Heritage, and let's not show the hits yet. We have good old, I guess I'll use this spacer as a cover for those hits. 2019 opening day, we'll get it out of the way. Let's see what we got. Albert Amora making a diving catch. Jonathan Scope. Chris Bryant still waiting to find out his status for this year, if he's going to be a free agent after the season. Jonathan Villar, who was the best player on the Orioles last year, and they designated him for assignment because they didn't want to pay him um, what he deserved through arbitration. Next pack, 2019 Heritage. Always have bad luck with this set for some reason never can really find anything that great in here and it's uh see that we didn't find anything super good in there yet again let's check out our bowman chrome pack from 2018 maybe we'll find uh i don't know evan longoria possibly there's alex gordon there's maglio or ordonez and two guys that i've never heard of and you probably haven't either but 
I don't know, unless you're related to them. Those names look very unfamiliar. All right, 2018, our fourth try at 2018 Tops Update. We already found Acuna and Glaber Torres. Not the real or the um, the main rookies, but still a variation of their rookie. There's Vasquez, and that is that in the All-Star game? Check out the ball. That picture was taken during the All-Star game, it looks like, based off of the ball. Never noticed that before. And accidentally said his name. I said I would never say his name again because he's a, just a terrible human being. There's Lourdes Goriel, the rookie card. Tory Hunter. Will Clark. Danny Farquhar, who retired. He was also the player on the mound in that famous, now famous, at-bat against Evan Gaddis. The uh, at-bat with the bang on the trash can that kind of became the at-bat that everyone saw when... That news was breaking. There's a nice Aaron Judge base card rounding third base after a home run pointing in the dugout. Braxton Lee. And we have Jacob Barnes. And the last card is Wilson Ramos. So let's check out the two hits that are hiding underneath this spacer. We've got Doug Fister. All right, that's nice to have an actual um, accomplished major leaguer that um, did pretty well in his career. And... So we get his auto, and then we have good old Johnny Peralta, who, if I'm not mistaken, was busted for PEDs near the end of his career, but had some nice years with Cleveland. So the hits have been, you know, pretty good. At least one hit in every box has been a, you know, a recognizable player. And now it's time for our final box. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it if you've made it through all five of these boxes. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed it. I very much appreciate that, and I hope you come back for many more of these types of videos. But anyway, our fifth and final, we got our last chance at 2018, and we get pretty much the same exact box as last time. Cover up the hits, start off with 2019 Tops Heritage. Matt Kemp on the back. He signed a minor league deal with the Marlins, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see if uh, he can make it up to the bigs. Uh, Jason Kipnis, he won't be back with the Indians this year. Beatles card, Hernan Perez. There's Josh James, rookie card. Dylan Bundy and Matt Kemp with the Dodgers. Next pack, let's go with, let's go with the Bowman Chrome. Not the greatest pack in the world, but Paul Canerco. There's a Miggy. We have a nice Ernesto Mejia refractor and Bubba Bell. And by the way, that Mejia is numbered out of 250. Opening day. Let's get it out of the way. I, I don't really even know what the best card we can pull out of this is. Uh, Rookie-wise, I'm thinking it's Jeff McNeil, but I can't exactly remember. Mitch Garver had a great season. 30 home runs for Mitch Garver despite injuries. 30-plus home runs. I can't remember the exact number. And now let's do... Our final pack of the night, 2018 Tops Update. Will we find Acuna or Shohei Otani or Juan Soto or Glaber Torres rookie? We'll find out here in a second. We've got Ichiro leading things off. That's a nice picture, Ichiro. Hey, Juan Soto rookie card. Very nice. This card is just increasing in value. It's one of the hotter cards around. He's only 21 years old, and he's right there neck and neck with Ronald Acuna Jr. in terms of... Uh, you know, hot rookies that you can find. So Juan Soto, rookie card. There's a Shohei Otani three home run game streak. We get another Lourdes Goriel. And we have a nice numbered card coming up here. It's a Reynaldo Lopez. I think these are out of 25 for the camo. Yes, 14 of 25. Reynaldo looks. I mean, sometimes those cards that are low number like that are worth more than uh, some of the better cards you can find. So I'm going to put that one in the good pile. Or the uh, display screen there. And our last couple cards, we have Jaime Barria and Fernando Romero closes out the video, at least from the packs. We still have these two hits here. And we get a, an autograph of Kendall Graveman there. So Kendall Graveman is our auto. Check out the back of it, you athletics fans. Probably liked Kendall Graveman five years ago or so. And the last hit, Jamie Moyer. Old man Jamie Moyer. Game used 
Relic, very nice. Man of the Year, Jamie Moyer. So lots of nice names in this uh, box opening. I even got an auto out of one of the packs. Got a nice Juan Soto rookie uh, pack fresh. So overall, th these hot corner boxes were really good, I think. Uh, if you get the newer versions of them that were released sometime during the summer with 2019 Top Series 1 packs in there, I don't think those are nearly as good. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Luckily, all of these boxes were old, and you saw what we got there. Um, honestly, I think I got my money back and then some. Uh, five boxes, $15 a pop. So I paid, uh, what I pay, like 75 bucks for all these. Um, if anybody wants to buy these for 75 bucks, all these cards, I would definitely do that. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not sure what video I'll come up with tomorrow, but I appreciate your support. I hope you're having a great weekend, and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Good night, everybody.